Good morning from upstate New York. How are you? I hope you had a great summer. I'm not reviewing a car right now, but I am here to tell you a little bit about the YouTube channel and how it is changing as far as some of the titles and headlines and descriptions because a lot of you have been asking about that. And um, the reason I'm doing it is because I've been told to do it. It's not something that I really want to do. I think it's kind of cheesy in a lot of regards. But if you notice, I'm certainly not the only one. If you look at other auto channels, um, you know, why you should spend 150000 on this and, you know, those thumbnail images of guys getting out of sports cars, puking and things like that, uh, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. But um, in order to retain some sort of relevancy on YouTube and to increase my views, these are things that I am told will help in that regard and therefore... I have to kind of jump into the pool and do these sorts of things. So I hope it doesn't bother you too much. I hope that you will see still as I clearly delineate between complete reviews and first looks. The first looks, as most of you know, are cars that I have not driven yet. But they are previews of upcoming models that are important. And I think that's helpful to you. I hope it is. I used to put those on the second channel. The reason they're not on the second channel anymore is because no one watched them there. I would upload something and it would get several hundred views, whereas the same video on my main channel would get several thousands of views. It just makes smart financial sense. Plus, it's reaching a much broader audience. So the second channel is kind of being reimagined right now as we approach the 20th anniversary of Drive Time in January. 20 years of car reviews. I can't believe it's gone by that fast. It's been awesome, though. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on with the new descriptions and things. And um, we'll see how it goes. So far, I think I've done five uploads with this new writing style. Would you excuse me for one moment? That's quite unprofessional not to shut this off, especially when it's from a telemarketer. Anyhow, um... The results so far have not been very good. The last five videos out of the gate have seen very low numbers of views uh, relative to what is average. So I may have to rethink all of this anyway, but I'm, I was told to give it a try. So anyhow, thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. I hope you're enjoying the mix of cars. I would hope that you would subscribe or tell others to subscribe because I've been told that based on the 50 million views my channel has or my two channels have, uh, that my number of 60,000 subscribers is way low. And that's apparently because I don't make end cards and encourage enough people to subscribe. But I'm doing that right now. So if you would spread the word, and I think if you were to tell people how my videos might be different than other car review channels, it's that I think we try to retain a level of professionalism and try to actually help people who are shopping for cars Yes, we occasionally delve into the Rolls-Royce Dawns and that sort of thing. That's for fun. But most of the, the videos that I do are meant to actually help people choose their next car. And so that's how we kind of stand out in this massive sea of everybody doing this exact same thing now with different kinds of equipment and different styles and whatever. I am what I am. I'm probably going to remain that way. Uh, into the foreseeable future. So thank you once again. And we've got lots of cool cars coming up here over the next couple of months, including some exotics before the weather turns. So stay with me. Thanks very much.